Wabash County voters will decide whether or not to give Manchester Community Schools an extra $15.7 million for various building projects. Good evening, I'm Hunter Petroviak. The referendum on next week's ballot is dividing the North Manchester community. That's where we find Fox 55's Cody Butler live tonight. Cody. Hunter, right now the biggest part of the project is this parking lot where they plan to put a field house to connect the junior high to the high school where students cross every day. However, people in the community think the district can do better. I just think there's, there's a better way to do it. Yes or no? People are letting their opinion be known about the Manchester Community Schools referendum with yard signs across town. They had to uh, kind of... Uh, Force this referendum to be on the ballot um, so that the community could have a say. Lavana Lane is one of many people with the yard sign opposing the $15.7 million referendum. The district is looking at making several building upgrades to improve security at all schools. However, the part that has many people upset is a field house planned to connect the junior high with the high school. Upgrades uh, our amenities, provides for our current students. Uh, as well as those future students that uh, we hope to attract through their family. Supporters of the plan, like Jim Smith, say having the field house could help the community. Not only do they rent your facility, which helps to offset utility costs and maintenance costs for the facility, but they also spend money uh, in your community. Our community is a small community, um, and I'm just not sure that we have the amenities to support something like that. Lane says she supports improving security. Just a field house might be too much. There's got to be something different that they can do to, to uh, you know, make sure that our kids are safe. If the referendum is approved, taxpayers could expect to pay an extra $70 a year on a home with an assessed value of $100,000. It's going to be hard for people who uh, just can't afford it. District officials have told me that if the referendum fails, it goes back to the drawing board. Reporting live in North Manchester, Cody Butler, Fox 55 News.